Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an adventure, drama, and action movie from 2022 called Zillion. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie opens with a monologue by the main character, Frank Vistraken, where we are given insight to his size or height. He is a visionary who allows his stubbornness to push him to do anything he sets his mind to without wanting to shoulder the responsibilities that come with his choices began to import electronic components from China, where were not available in Europe, and then he began to sell them to the locals directly. Fate brought him and a porn film producer, Dennis Black Magic, together when he helped out with a little problem with his computer, which Dennis offered a blowjob as a joke. However, for his real payment, he gave him a ticket to the care, which was the most famous nightclub where everyone was anyone went. To his shock, he and his two friends, whom he went with, were denied entrance because they did not think he was old enough to be in the club or because they did not think he belonged there. He has always had a sort of inferiority complex due to his appearance. The dire experience made him decide to set up his nightclub. Nico Tackert, a special tax inspector rate in the city, visits his home to question his income, but his mother stands by him through it all because Nico is sure that Frank isn't clean and he is hell-bent on finding out exactly what he was hiding. His main problem right now is having too much money. He needed to find a way to keep Nico and his fellows out of his business. He hated having to pay taxes and was willing to do anything to avoid it, considering how much he made. That was when he decided to form an unlikely duo with the porn king, Dennis Black Magic. Dennis was a willing accomplice. He did not care much for how the money was made, but only about his role in the whole charade. He was willing to go along with whatever the genius had in mind. Their business ran very wild from there as Dennis got his first end of the bargain and began to make waves in the world of porn movies while Frank sponsored it. Dennis kept his promise of taking Frank to the care as soon as he made his first million. Dennis was a nightlife person, so places like that welcomed him easily. Frank was fascinated by what he saw. This was a place he had never been. He had the opportunity to see the prospects that lay there, which fascinated him. He got drunk and was able to come out of his shell. The feeling was incredible and while he was under the influence of the drugs which Dennis had given him earlier, he saw Vanessa. He was enamored by her beauty. He merely went to ask Dennis who she was and he told him she was the new Miss Belgium, Vanessa Goodsons. He tried all he could to see her but got himself into trouble with the owner of the club. He bit him and got thrown out of the club. He was maddened with rage and drove a car into the club but before he could do much damage, he was caught by the club owner's men, and he got the beating of his life. He was never seen in the care again. He began to make plans to have his club. The first set of people he contacted was the king of porn, Dennis, and his mother. Together, they went to check out a warehouse. He had carefully mapped out his plans. Dennis would use his influence to get the right people to come to the club, while he, Frank, would do everything else. He made a promise to Dennis to give him his VIP room. Dennis was arrested for his link with Frank, but he refused to cave or give in to anything that would implicate Frank to the cops. He did not betray him, and for this, he had to serve a jail term of one year. Frank's money and everything he had was confiscated, but his mother had taken it upon herself to keep a huge part of his money, and this was what brought in new hope for Frank's plans. From inside his prison, Dennis went on with his plans to help Frank fulfill his dreams of creating Zillion, the new club, and by the time he returned, he had what he was promised, his VIP room at the Zillion. He got the permit from the city council to set up the Zillion in the city. He was able to invite Vanessa to the opening of the club, where he finally got to talk to her. He also met her father, Herman, who was her manager. However, he did not have enough time with her before her father dragged her off. He took the bold move to go find Vanessa in one of her sets and hang out with her. When they returned, her father, once again, interrupted their moment and threatened him. He wanted him to stay away from his daughter. He had to do something to keep the old man out of his way, so he had someone record a sex tape of him, which he used to manipulate him. And from there, things with Vanessa went smoothly. Dennis had Frank hire some of his friends from prison as guards in a zillion. They did his dirty jobs for him. Frank created a tax maze of his money, spreading all over the world. He was well aware that only his legal money had to go through the front door, and he had to find a way to get his black revenue out, which was through the back door. However, he was never interested in the money. He was more interested in the effect that money had on people and the world. His mother was weary of Vanessa. 
No matter what happened, Frank liked to get what he wanted. He saw her talk to a DJ in his club one night, and he had his men beat him up. Unknown to him, the boy was the grandson of the former Minister of Justice and the current Minister of State. This caused a big mess for him with Vanessa. The country was also not happy about what had happened. He no longer had the privacy he needed, and the men Dennis brought for him could no longer keep their jobs since he was not allowed to have guards with criminal backgrounds. Marius, one of the guards, did not like this. It was his source of livelihood, and while he talked to Dennis about it, Dennis, who had a thing for young girls, kept hitting on his daughter. Frank was busy trying his best to make a comeback where he introduced even more activities in his club that would help him get the men he needed to get information on. Marius was still hell-bent on having his job back, so he set Dennis up to do that. Vanessa had also begun to act weirdly, which became a little insufferable for Frank. His mother warned him about her, and after meeting with Nico again, she made him know that he was still in his tracks and that if he wasn't more careful, he would get caught. Frank hid all of Vanessa's drugs and made sure she could not get high, which made her lash out at him. She felt suffocated, and Frank wasn't even aware of it. He tried to lock her in the house to make her stay with him, but Dennis came to her rescue. He told both of them that he did not need them and he would be just fine on his own. Marius found his daughter in a hotel room with evidence that Dennis had just been there and he went out searching for him. When Frank returned home, he was attacked in his house by some men who carted away some of his things, especially money. Vanessa stood with him while he recuperated, but Frank's mother was not still convinced that Vanessa wasn't involved in what happened. Eventually, he found out it was Vanessa who led the med to him, and it wasn't Dennis as he had earlier thought. While trying to keep her secret, Vanessa pushed Frank's mother and she hit her head, causing her to have a concussion. At the same time, Frank, unaware of the fact that had befallen his mother, went out to look for Dennis, whom he had earlier alerted Marius of his location. He wanted to save him from being killed by Marius, but it looked like he wasn't in luck, and Dennis already found a way out. They parted ways after facing off with Marius and his men. Dennis felt betrayed and no longer wanted to be around Frank. Frank realized he and Vanessa were both misfits. In the end, he lost the zillion, and everything he had done was revealed to the cops by his mother through the black bookkeeping, which was in her hands, and he was sentenced to jail. Vanessa went to see him for a while and stopped later, and she got a two-year jail term, four years of probation, a 10-year professional ban, and a huge fine for tax evasion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.